What's going on, everyone? My name is JP. This is my wife, Jordana, and our kids, Aurelia and Odin. Back on our sixth wedding anniversary, we decided we wanted to buy an RV and see the country. Fast forward to March of 2021, we sold our house, ditched all our stuff, and hit the road for what we hope will be a journey filled with a lifetime of memories. We hope you will join us on this journey as we wander to get lost. Hey, everybody. Happy New Year's Eve. It is December 31st, 2021. Uh, it is almost 2022. And we are back in New York um, following our latest uh, season three adventure. Um, so we didn't really film during Christmas and all that stuff. We took a nice little break, just relaxed, had family time. And I am now parked at, back at my mom's where we did the RV renovation. Uh, to do some more repairs before we hit the road again to head back to the Keys. But, um, at Jordana's parents' house where we spent Christmas, I noticed our driver's side basement box was um, falling apart bad, very badly. I knew there was some rust issues, but then I started inspecting it and it's really bad. So let me show you what we're dealing with. So here is the front of the box. This is totally eaten through can see this no here this is this is such a poorly designed box uh, I'm surprised that it, it was just probably made as cheap as possible that's all I could say about the construction of this box it's like 16th inch um, steel it, it just doesn't didn't survive any of the elements and the way they tuck this in to this thing under here basically funneled water into here and just pulled it there was no chance um, here is this side so you can see all this rust here um, so it's basically the whole bottom section which is obviously getting killed by um, road salts and rain this is no longer attached here uh, it was so bad that the floor of this basement is going to is already detached and bowing and it's not no support here and this is where we keep a bulk of our uh, tools and like stuff so we really this needs to be totally fixed so down here more rust this is all rust oh yeah, see so crap and then actually before we left at the RV renovation I reattached this because this had all fallen apart I sealed it with 5200 just to get us through painted it with rust reformer did this whole box it's held up but it's not perfect so the plan uh, I was actually toying with the idea of dropping this box down and rebuilding it that's not going to happen. We're supposed to be on the road by January 8th, which is a week from this week from tomorrow. Uh, so what I am going to do today is take a grinding wheel, cut from here, thereabouts, um, and from the bottom. The top is actually in pretty decent condition because it's you know protected by the doors and the drip edge and everything, so I don't have to really worry about the top. I'll cut here all the way remove all the bottom stuff um, I'll probably have to figure out where I can cut on here to try and like redo this area here because this is pretty badly rusted here and then same on that bend over there I may actually increase the height of that just so I have more room to get stuff in and get more usable space under that box um, and pull this whole bottom out take all this out and then what my plan is, is I'm going to get probably a half inch rectangle bar, run it from the front all the way to the back. We'll put that on. And then what I'll do is I'll get probably um, eighth inch steel plate to put here. I'll drill from the plate through, catch the bar. That'll support this whole box. Then from this front bar, I will bring crossbars from here to the back welded on the back that's a steel plate 
And then I'll put a new face plate here and cover that bar and then we'll seal it all up and paint it. So that is the plan. I've spent the, about an hour to an hour and a half going through everything right now. In my head, I think that's gonna work out well. So today I am just going to have to um, cut, get it all prepped. Uh, you know, it's New Year's Eve, tomorrow's New Year's Day, Sunday. Um, so I won't be able to get to the metal shop that I usually go to until Monday. And then um, by that time I'll have all my measurements, everything will be ready to go. It should be just zipping it in, welding it, and then uh, sealing and painting. So uh, hopefully I'll be done by Tuesday because we have a bunch of other projects we got to get done before we hit the road. So, all right, stick around. Hopefully you find this video interesting. All right, let's uh, start working. Can't for the life of me understand a lot of the framing on the back is uh, aluminum, aluminum bar, and uh, I don't know why they just didn't make the boxes out of aluminum. Then there'd be no rust issues. Instead, I got to deal with this crap. All they did was they made it out of this 16 inch steel and then they just butyl taped it and tried to fill in the gaps from behind with like sealant and stuff and it, it doesn't work. Uh, oh yeah, this is all rotted. It's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be fun. Build this side. I thought this was the better side. All right. So another issue that we have is that they drill from the top through this foam, through the bottom of this metal, and then goes into this retainer bar. So you can see there's the screw that pulled through. This is the foam, it looks like one inch foam. The bottom of this is crap. So I'm gonna have to skin the bottom of this box as well. It is all cut out. Um, so yeah, 
I'm just gonna clean it out, vacuum and everything, get it all prepped. And then I'm gonna see about running to the metal supply shop. I think they're open till five today, even though it's New Year's Eve. So if I can, I can get everything ordered and maybe pick it up on Monday. Um, what I did decide to do uh, is behind this is a bar and it's not even tacked into the top or the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna replace this metal bar back here, which is steel. I'm gonna replace it with an aluminum bar. That way I can weld to the top, which is aluminum. And then once I put that aluminum plate here, I'll be able to weld it down to that. And that will actually hold this part of the, the floor up. I'll do that down there too. So I'll have good uh, vertical support. And then I'll have the horizontal yeah. support once Blue. I put those in there. And then I'll tie that in all together, which is what should have been probably done in the first place. Because there was this bar was not even tied in to the floor, which makes no sense. You need vertical support. So that's where we're at. So Odin and I are going to clean up all the rusty mess. And then um, we'll see what time it is. We may still, as I said before, run to the... Help! Shovel! <laughs> I may run to the metal supply store to order. Hi, hi! But uh, that's it for probably today until Monday. And then we'll start rebuilding this box. Mm. All right. See you on Monday. Odin, you want to smack and say goodbye? Bye.